So today we're going to be looking at how to um, solve equations. So far we've really only been working with expressions and now is the first time that we're seeing an equal sign um, with rational expressions. So now we have an equation and we want to figure out what the value of x is to make this a true equation, so to solve it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we actually want to get rid of all the fractions, right? That's why this is a rational expression, because there are fractions. Um, so to get rid of all the fractions, we want to figure out what the LCD is, because then we're going to multiply every single term by that LCD and clear the fraction. So if I take a look at my denominators, I have x, 3x, and 3. My LCD for all three of those denominators is 3x. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that denominator, uh, I'm sorry, that LCD, and I'm going to multiply it um, into every single um, term. So I'm going to do 3x, and I'm going to multiply that times the first fraction. All right, and then I have minus. I'm going to multiply 3x again, that's my LCD, times x plus 21 over 3x, and then I have equals, and once again I'm going to multiply 3x times that third fraction. Alright, so now before I start multiplying, I can definitely cross simplify. So here, um, these x's cancel out. Alright, and so all I'm left with is 3 times 3, and I get 9. Remember, if it's easier, remember that this is over 1, all right? So that's why these cross cancel. And then when I multiply, I'm left with 3 times 3, which is 9 over 1, which is just 9. Here, the 3 x's completely cancel, but be careful because there is a negative. So we're going to distribute um, that negative. So we get negative x minus 21. All right, next. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these right here, and I see that the threes cancel out, and all I'm left with is x times 5, so that's 5x. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start combining the terms. I can do 9 minus 21. Whoops. Sorry about that. All right, and I get negative 12. I'm sorry, you can't see that. There we go. All right, um, so I did 9 minus 21. I got negative 12. I'm going to bring down my minus x equals 5x. So this is just a bunch of algebra. Now I'm going to go ahead and start solving. So I get negative 12 equals 6x. I'll divide by 6 on both sides, and I get x is equal to negative 2. Now we just have to check one thing um, because we're dealing with fractions. We have to make sure that this answer right here, which right now is my proposed answer, I'm not going to call it my final answer just yet because I need to make sure that if I were to plug in that x value of negative 2 back into the original problem, that it's not going to give me a 0 in the denominator because we know that in fractions we're not allowed to divide by 0. So we can't have a zero in the denominator. So if I plug in negative two right here, that definitely does not give me a zero in the denominator. If I plug in negative two here, three times negative two would be negative six, so that's not a zero. I can divide by anything except zero, and then there's no x value for me to plug in right here. So this value of x equals negative two never makes my denominator equal to zero. And so for that reason, that is our final answer. It is a solution. We always have to check because in the next example, we're going to see what happens um, when we end up with um, an answer that does make the denominator zero.